Welcome to my channel, I'm Summer. Today I am reviewing this beautiful new cool blow dryer, the Zuby Halo Hair Dryer, so let's get started. The Zuby Halo Dryer is designed with light care technology to dry your hair over standard heat from traditional hair dryers. It offers four different styling options, care, fast, soft, and style with a cool setting as well. The Zuby Halo Dryer is extremely lightweight at just 1.8 pounds, coming in both six foot and 10 foot cord length options, as well as three magnetic attachments to fit all your hair needs. With just a 680 watt motor, the Zuby Halo Dryer is energy efficient, saving you up to 60% in energy use, retailing for 350 US dollars. All right, so Zuby reached out to me a few weeks ago about sending me this dryer to try it out, and this is not a paid review, so my opinion on this is going to be completely honest, and being a professional hairstylist for 15 years, the concept of this dryer had me completely intrigued. The point of the light care for the heat, so to speak, is supposed to mimic the way the sun would dry your hair. So Zuby is inspired from that with features that speed up that process while maintaining the benefits. Those benefits are shinier hair, smoother hair, color retention, and stronger hair. Those all stem from the fact that Zuby is much less heat on your hair, so moisture is being locked in and heat from traditional dryers can add negatives to all those points. The dryer, like mentioned earlier, is very lightweight. It's super compact. It's definitely trying for some Dyson vibes and they even have the magnetic attachments like Dyson, which I absolutely love. I feel like this is something that all companies need to do from here on out. The attachments are a diffuser for those who like to maintain their curls with their blow dries. The gentle air attachment, very Dyson. This is great for those with sensitive scalps as it just slightly blocks the airflow and lights. And then your styling concentrator, which is to be used for smoothing out the hair. The four heat options, as mentioned before, are care mode, which is suggested for those who dry their hair daily. Fast mode is going to be your fastest wind and highest heat level for when you wanna get out the door quickly. Soft mode is ideal for those with sensitive scalps and it's less heat and less speed. Style mode is to be used when the concentrator is on to smooth or straighten your hair. And style mode is the only mode that does not use the light. So I guess it's just good old fashioned heat like a regular dryer, but it is not quite as hot. And then they have their cool setting, which is done by holding down the mode button. So it is a beautifully designed blow dryer. The handle is faux leather and it has a nice grip to it. With all the benefits they boast, being in the industry for 15 years, I have to say that the lower heat levels really should deliver as far as shine, moisture retention, and definitely for color retention. Too much heat can essentially burn or fade your color out, but I am skeptical on whether or not I can actually smooth the hair and shape it out because because that is often where heat comes into play with your traditional blow dryers. Okay, so now that we have broken down the dryer, its features and shape, let's get to the fun part and use this beauty. On top of using this on myself, I went ahead and brought it in salon with me as well to try out on a couple of clients to get a well-rounded review using it on multiple hair types. So my hair is fine and naturally straight. I have no curl whatsoever to my hair. And my two clients I use the Zuby on, one has very unruly hair, lots of frizz, the other the same, but with much more curl. On my own hair, I use the Zuby two different times. I was overall impressed with the Zuby on myself. Both times using, I went ahead and rough dry my hair to 80% per their suggestion because I was using the style concentrator. It took me right at 30 minutes both times, so not exactly fast um, if I'm comparing that time frame with how long it would take me with another dryer doing it the same way. My hair did look nice though, and it was incredibly soft, and it's about the quietest blow dryer I've ever used. And I was actually surprised at the fullness I had. With it being lower heat, I didn't expect to get quite as much fullness on my root, but it did a good job. However, on my day two though, from my original blow dry, when it came to reshaping my hair, as I had some kinks from sleeping on it overnight, it really didn't do anything to get the kinks out. I tried it on three different settings to see if it would make a difference and none of them did. And then I just broke down and I used another dryer and basically within 15 seconds, the sections were smooth from my traditional dryer over the Zuby. In salon, using it on the clients, I followed Zuby's suggestion of drying the hair 80% before using the concentrator novel. So 
I was less impressed when using the dryer on my clients. They obviously have more unruly hair than me. I rough dried them on fast mode and that's the fastest option that they have. And I was really not impressed with the time it took me to rough dry them compared to using another dryer the same as Zuby. Zuby probably added at least seven to 10 more minutes and it did nothing as far as smoothing while running my fingers through the hair while rough drying. Once I added the concentrator nozzle, I was hopeful that I would be able to manipulate the hair more, but it didn't really do much. So I did in the end need to use my flat iron to straighten out the hair. And I feel like I had to be a bit more aggressive with my iron to get the hair straight. I will say though, even though the Zuby did not get their hair smooth, really at all on its own. Their hair was amazingly soft, very silky afterwards. And on my curly client, her ends always give me trouble normally getting them completely smooth, even when I flat iron her. And her ends were the most sealed they've ever been this time while using the Zuby. So I appreciated that. However, the extra time I wasn't a fan of and the extra stress from the flat iron, I feel like just sort of defeats the purpose. So to be honest, I really wanna be like, I love this dryer, it's amazing. I've seen plenty of reviews of people being excited about this, but I'm not so sure that I'm on board. I think it's fitting for a very select few as far as hair type goes. Those with hair types like mine, straight and finer in texture, I think overall it performs well. If you're falling into that hair type and are one who washes their hair, every day, the Zuby is a nice option because all of its benefits really should ring true as far as less heat damage, maintaining more moisture in the hair, but past fine straight hair, I just don't see people wanting to spend $350 on a dryer that's going to take them longer, require more iron work than your traditional blow dryers out there, especially when there are some really, really great dryers on the market that are similar to this price point. If your hair type falls outside of fine and straight and you don't care about smoothing it out or shaping it, this is probably the best option on the market for all of the benefits it offers with moisture and color retention. But if that's not the case, I just don't see how it's possible to shape and smooth out the hair without more heat that the dryer just simply doesn't offer. The Zuby Halo dryer is really one of a kind and it's probably the first of its kind that while it's a great idea behind it, I'm just not so sure that it's going to be what the average consumer is wanting when purchasing a blow dryer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment below if you have heard about Zuby or if you've tried it and your thoughts on it. As always, please like, share, and subscribe and I will see you all next week.